guys, it's Larry Greenberg here, and what I want to show you today are three applications available for jailbroken iPhones that really, when combined, solve one of the biggest problems that opponents of the iPhone seem to always go back and complain about, and that's background applications. So the three applications that I'm going to show you today are Notifier, MQuickDo, and Backgrounder. And I don't really want to show you each individual app. What I want to show you is how great they work together when combined. So let's say for argument's sake that you are in the middle of playing a game. And let's open up Handmark Casino and you can see I'm in the middle of the hand of blackjack. Well, let's say that you wanted to now leave the game and go check your email. You thought maybe you heard the mail tone go off, you weren't sure. Unfortunately, the iPhone has really no repeating notifications to let you know that you have new email waiting. So if you miss that mail alert, you kind of just have to go check and see every time you think you might have a new message. So you do that by pressing the home button and then going into the mail app. And I'm in airplane mode right now just so I don't get any new messages. And whoops, guess what? No email. So if you want to go back in your game, you press the home button again. You launch the app, you wait for the whole app to load again, and you can continue playing. And this process kind of repeats itself over and over for various apps. Not to mention the fact that, yeah, you can't have any music in the background playing from your iPod on some games. Some games do allow you, but you definitely can't use Pandora while you're playing the game because you can only run one app at once on the iPhone. So let me show you how it works with these three apps installed and running. So I'm now out of airplane mode and I'm going to launch the game again. We're going to go back into Casino and you're going to see it load and launch. And let's say that a new email comes in. And what I'm going to do now is send myself a test message so you can see what happens. So the new message has just shown up into my inbox. And thanks to Notifier, if you look up here in the upper right hand corner, right where my thumb is, you can see a little envelope actually letting me know that I have a new message. So let's say now that I want to go check this message, but I don't want to lose my place in the game. I also don't want to have to worry about having it to reload. Well, guess what? With Backgrounder, I can set it so this app keeps running in the background while I go check my email. And then when I get back, it'll still be there, save my place. I won't have to load anything. So to enable Backgrounder, you press and hold the home button until you see that little background enable message appears. And I've now left the game and I can go check my mail. And sure enough, there's my message. And let's say I've read the message and I've deleted it and I'm all done with that. And now I want to go back to playing my game. Well, with mQuickDo, you can actually use special gestures to launch running applications. So when I press down here, a little bar appears. And let me tap and pull up. And you'll see all of my running applications. Now along the bottom, are my five most frequently used applications, and you can replace those. Those are the ones I use the most. Those are fully changeable. You can put whatever you know icons in there that you want. But there you see my running applications. So if I want to go back to the game I was playing, all I do is tap on it, and I don't have to wait for it to load. I'm already there. There's the game. So let's say I also wanted to listen to Pandora while I was playing my game. So let me close out of there. Let's go to Pandora, if I can find it. There it is. I'm going to launch it, and let's get it playing. And I was listening to some Michael Jackson radio, and it's going to load up here in a second. And I'm going to enable backgrounding for that. Okay? So now you hear the music playing, and again, if I want to get back to my game, I'll tap that little gesture bar down here, and it takes a little bit getting used to. And there's my casino game, and it immediately launches. And guess what? You hear the music playing in the background. Again, if I want to go check my email, tap the mail icon, and there it is, I'm in my email. Back to the game, tap down here, go back to the game. So it does a few other things too that's, that you know, I think is really ingenious. Let's say you want to turn off Backgrounder. Normally you have to actually enter the app and press and hold the home button again. Well, what I've found is you don't need to do that. You grab the icon that you want to turn off and pull it to your left and you can see it actually disappears and it turns off. It actually closes the application. So the iPod's running. I'll, move, I'll turn that off by dragging it away. And again, I'm in my game right now. So let's go into the mail app. Remember, the game is still running because I have it in Backgrounder. You see a little icon there indicating that it's in Backgrounder. But if I go into email and oh darn, I forgot to turn the game off. I don't want to play it anymore. So I'll invoke that little launch bar, 
drag this to the left and it shuts it off. It's not in the background anymore. And if I go back to the main screen, you'll see the icon has disappeared. So M Quick Do does a lot of other things. It has a lot of other gestures as well. You can jump to pages uh, on your springboard. I just jumped to the first page. If I swipe again, I'll jump to the last page. Um, there I just jumped to the last page. Let's say I want to go back to the first page. Now I'm back to the first page. You can also use it to lock your device um, and you know invoke a whole bunch of other options. Let's see if I can get it to actually lock. There we go. Now it just shut down my advice and locked it. The other thing it does is it places those same five icons on your hot screen. So you have instant access to those and you can actually get to them without unlocking your phone. So all you do is tap on the icon and it launches and there you go, I'm in mail. Again, anytime I want to jump to something else that's running, tap down here, invoke that launch screen. There we go. And uh, you know, I can jump to the phone if I want. So. Again, you know, there are a lot of complaints. So here we go. Perfect example. I just got a new I just got a new email. I don't want to leave my phone or I, you know, I don't want to have to go all the way back to the So I will tap down here and get the launch bar up, hit the mail icon and jump right to mail and there's my new message waiting for me. So, you know, I, I know I showed you a lot of stuff. I'll try to put links to everything I showed you in the description, but basically, you know, if you're jailbroken, these are what I would consider must-have applications. Yeah, a lot of people knock the iPhone for its lack of background, you know, background ability. But with these apps installed, you can do everything that any other phone really can do. You can access, you know, pretty much any app from anywhere at any time. And that's huge. So any questions about it, please feel free to drop me a line. Uh, otherwise, you have a great day.